There are two options uh, that you can use for WooCommerce subscriptions. Um, so if you are creating a credit-based subscription product, uh, there's two other tutorial videos on how to create a simple subscription or a variable subscription using the credit bundles that you've created. Uh, but if you navigate to the WooCredits settings uh, by looking under WooCommerce and clicking WooCredits, uh, there's two, and then you scroll down, uh, there's two options that are currently available um, for WooCommerce subscriptions. And the first one is this checkbox for reset credits upon subscription renewal. What this does is it does not let the customer's credits accumulate. So if you have a plan, for instance, this package one, they get 10 credits for 25 bucks. If you set that to renew every month, um, every month their credits are going to renew to 10. So if they, in month one, they purchased 10 credits here with this package and then used eight throughout the month, and when the credit uh, package, the, the, the subscription was set to renew, instead of having 12 when it renewed, if you have this selected, it would erase the two remaining that they didn't spend in month one and then add 10 new to their total in for month two. So it can be a way, it was, a, it, it was requested by quite a few of our customers, so it can be a way to incentivize your customers to spend their credits. Um, if you don't have this selected and they purchased package one for month one and they had 10 credits and they spent eight and they had a balance of two, then when month two triggered, they would get 10 additional credits plus the two remaining, so they would start month two with 12 credits. Um, so that's totally up to you, but it is an option if you want to reset them every month and incentivize them. Hey, you only have 30 days to spend these credits, get on it. Or if you leave it unchecked, the credits will accumulate. Um, the other option is to hide the credit price for non-members. So we've had requests for people running membership sites, subscription sites, to not display the, the price of the product in, or to hide the credit price if, if the person's not logged in. Um, so that is an option if you want to encourage people to join in order to see the prices, uh, that is an option that if you select that, um, the all the credit prices for your products priced in credits would not be visible, uh, which would then you know funnel and hopefully redirect your visitors and encourage them to become members in order to see the prices. Um, so those are two options that are available to you if you are using WooCredits in conjunction with WooCommerce subscriptions.